I found another Lord of the Rings card that I think is being overlooked. Meet Samwise. No, not the combo Samwise. This time, the value Samwise. I'm going to take it through a vintage leak and I'm going to show you just what I mean. Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, another spicy Lord of the Rings deck for you. I was testing other decks, and I found that this card is extremely strong. Uh, kind of a, a card that slipped by my radar for Vintage. This is Samwise, not the other Samwise, the combo Samwise. This is Samwise the Stouthearted. 2-1, Flash, Legendary Halfling Peasant. When Samwise enters the battlefield, choose up to one target permanent card in your graveyard that was put there from the battlefield this turn. Return it to your hand, and then the ring tempts you. Um, the biggest and most major interaction here is Wasteland and Strip Mine. So you can Strip Mine someone and then play Sam and rebuy your Wasteland or Strip Mine. Uh, but that is not, you know, the that's the bare minimum here. We also have things like rebuy your Mistress Bobble or your Black Lotus or your Lotus Petal. Um, we're going to put Sam in kind of, you know, a, a BPK uh, Lurus Control style shell today. Um, so I'm trying to maximize this card just to showcase what it can do. Uh, so I have, you know, Rebuy Bobble, Lotus Petal, and Lotus. But we also have Rebuy, Seal of Cleansing, Rebuy, Engineered Explosives. Dress down their team, and then at end step, the Dress Down go goes to the graveyard. And then you flash in a Samwise after. Bring back your Dress Down. Um, and then, of course, things like, you know, blocking at, with Snapcaster or Lavinia. You can bring them back. Countering a spell with Malevolent Hermit. And then buying it back. And then I think one of the more powerful vintage cards, vintage techie cards, is uh, Cathar Commando. Always been very impressed with Cathar Commando and Lurus Shells. Sacrifice this, kill an artifact, and then, of course, bring it back. Um, all this works pretty well with the ring, too. The ring is not the, the strongest mechanic, the, te the tempting of the ring. Uh, but it sure adds up, and there's you know there's definitely some value to be had by getting the, the, the ring tempting online. Uh, I do have a Caracas, which we can buy, uh, bounce our Sam and continue to use it. Uh, you can also do things where you have like a Sam in play and you sack and you play another Sam and, and, and things happen like that. So what we have is kind of more of a blue-white control flash deck. We have a lot of things that we can use on our opponent's turn, holding open counter spells and removal and uh, uh, Sam. And so we get to maybe get some value here with Library of Alexandria, not a card you typically see in Vintage these days, mostly due to the speed of the format. Um... But uh, definitely a powerful card in its own right. Uh, of course, uh, the ring bearer is legendary, uh, so you can buy, you can bounce the ring bearer back to your hand with Caracas, so you can bounce back a Snapcaster or something else as well. Uh, this is a Lurus stack because we're trying to, you know, uh, get the, the the synergy going. And then I have a variety of different cards in the sideboard. Mono White has to be answered with many Swords to Plowshares, a pile of Graveyard Hate, but trying to lean a little bit heavier into graveyard hate that goes into the graveyard. Things like Lantern and Crypt that um, combo combo pretty well with Sam. I have Serenity, which is oh, just a sweet card against shops, destroying all artifacts and enchantments uh, on the next upkeep, and then you could always buy it back with Sam as well. Uh, Serenity has a little bit of a problem right now because of the introduction of the, 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 the one ring to the format. The, the one ring is indestructible, which is... Um, uh, a little bit problematic for this uh, this kind of tech, but we do have uh, an exile answer in the main. So there's like, and then we have plenty of um, counter magic. So uh, I am going to play one Hercules Recall because we're going to play Merchant Scroll. Uh, that'll be also for Workshop, and then I have some Steel Sabotages, which is a split card, good against Workshop and also very good against Jewel, Jewel. Uh, one more dress down in the sideboard for heavy construct matches and things like Doomsday. So, um, yeah, my whole goal today is basically to show you what I found while testing Samwise, that this card is uh, doing powerful things and maybe an include in, in one of your decks somewhere. Uh, I don't exactly know where you would include this card. Um, it's really nice with the pitch elementals, uh, grief and uh, solitude and that kind of thing. Uh, maybe there's a room in a mono white initiative deck. Maybe you have to make your own deck. Maybe, you know, you do play this kind of BPK style deck. Maybe you're playing like the Underworld Breach Intuition version. I think it's still probably quite good in there. Uh, I haven't seen Brian on in a long time, but I, I, if I had to guess, this is the kind of card that would interest him. So, it's a BPK stream. I'll see you in round one.
If you'd like to see your deck played on this channel, check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Okay, straight into round one, and you know it's a Wednesday night because we've got Absorbent 3. Uh, this deck could be pretty decent against uh, what Absorb has got going on, but we'll have to see. We've got Library on the play. And a removal spell. Yeah, I mean, let's do library things. It seems fine. BPK, sorry. <laughs> True, not BVK. <laughs> uh, I feel like that is something. Apparently, it's a company. Interesting. <laughs> library has been uh the talk of not the talk but a talk inside the vintage discord recently some players uh talking about the merits of library what vintage would look like in a four library uh unrestriction i don't think four library unrestriction would have any effect on the format um most decks don't even opt to play one library but it is a very powerful card maybe you can build a deck around it our opponent is a notorious gruel player. The lots of artifact heat, so I'm happy I'm not playing Saga or Vault Key. Um, I did. I don't think I mentioned it in the uh, in the intro, but this deck can very much play Urza Saga as a you know zero to four of. You can play one, two, four, however many you want, um, and you can t do things like play. Um, Volt Key as a win condition. You can do things like play one Volcanic, one Saga, and Splash Breach Brain Freeze. Um, if you're interested in this kind of list, you can always check out um, uh, if you search on Goldfish for the username Brian PK80. Uh, lots of interesting lists to choose from. So here, what we're going to try to do is not use our Force of Negation, go to our turn, and start drawing a card, extra card every turn with Library. Should be quite good against our Red Green opponent be cool if they play like a ignoble hierarch here oh this is tarmogoyf pitching elvish spirit guide okay yeah my opponent is on uh a, you know their own brew that they've been perfecting over the last uh couple of, maybe years months something let's draw a card solitude can absolutely be good with sam we played samwise in our black white initiative challenge uh with grief and solitude in the deck very cool uh, so we can just take some Tarmogoyf hits for a little while, but we do have a clean Tarmogoyf answer in our hand. I'd like to continue to draw cards off of our library, which requires us to have seven cards in hand to draw a card. Uh, I don't think it's been that long. Like, I... I usually cut the library for when I play, like, a BPK-style deck, but I don't always cut it. <laughs> Absorbent 3 has said, uh, that's enough of that. But, oh my god, wait, we're going to Sam them? <laughs> I guess Sam also brings back fetch lands, and oh my god, this card's so good. Alright, so I'm going to go get a Tundra. And then we're going to Sam back our library. And we're also... We can't trade it for Tarmogoyf, right? Because it'll go grow... Well, is this... Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't grow after. Does it grow after? I forget. It does, right? Like lightning bolt? <laughs> or can I? Someone was yelling at me in the... What was it? It was one of my videos the other day. I can trade. Okay. I have... Uh, I've been very confused recently. It was Death Shadow. Um, but they were like, you can block. And I was like, I don't think I can block. Um, anyways. But basically, I used to know that rule really well, and now I'm really confused. <laughs> uh, I think Boromir is an interesting card. It could totally be played in Mono White Initiative. So right now, this Tarmogoy is a 1-2, a, a, a and I have only lands in my yard. And I think I am just going to play Sam and choose to bring back my library. <laughs> I'm having a good time. Oh, it's because players take damage before... Oh, uh, okay, 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 okay. So, that makes sense to me. It's the player damage uh, happening before state-based... Or the, you know, the state thing that checks the... 
the damage versus toughness, right? Something like that. All right, that was a already Sam plus one moment. All right. Good to know. And the also good news is we went to eight cards and now we have a library again. Oh, we are just cruising here. What I didn't want to happen was Samwise blocks Tarmogoyf and Tarmogoyf lives, uh, which didn't happen. So we're all we're in a great spot. <laughs> that was a uh, oh man, this card is so much value. I feel like this is a legacy card, right? Ooh, okay, all right, okay. I feel like uh, Samwise is a true legacy card. Like legacy is all about grinding these days, and that just seems like a great great card. So what we can do is we can just play three mana march on this uh, ooze. I'm doing okay. The decks that people are winning with in Legacy right now are crazy. They're like 80 card troll Kazadoom decks. It's wild, uh, it's wild life over there. Oh, I guess I need to draw on my turn now because I played this. I, I did not factor the bobble into my equation here. Well, I didn't want them to eat the bobble. I guess I can just draw on their turn still. I don't think it matters what I choose to do, right? I don't know if it matters. It probably just doesn't matter. <laughs> I do want to see what they draw though. Emerald or jet, sorry. I don't I don't I I'm not going to make the uh, assertion that I played that in a super strong <laughs> order. <laughs> I just really wanted to get rid of the thing before it could eat my stuff. Hogak? That was sweet. My my opponent last night in a vintage league uh was playing Pug and they slammed a uh, uh Orcish Bowmasters and used it immediately to cast Hogak, and I was not ready for that play. And I did die. Uh do I care about a collector roof? Not in the slightest. That turns off their mana and it lets me I can just block it, I can snap march it, I can I can do anything. I have all the power. I can, I, I'm pretty sure anyone could go and win this game. <laughs> what I'm almost out of is uh, fetchable land, actually. Um, let's just get a Lavinia in play. That seems like the most reasonable thing to do here. Yeah, I have a Lurus. Lurus is a nice combo with Library of Alexandria. You can uh, get back up to seven cards in hand. Little known fact. No! Wait, where's my Sam? Wait, maybe I'll draw Sam. Yo, what if I draw a Sam? Come on, baby. I deserve a Sam off this. At least sick. Damn. That's unfortunate. I'm sad. <laughs> that would have been so good. Lavinia is uh, asymmetrical. Broken magic card, for sure. Uh, I guess we'll go get an island. Um, I don't know. I feel like I can just use magic cards, right? For fun. This is my last fetchable land. Uh, I don't want to... I guess I don't really care if they have a endurance. I have snap swords. Definitely want to fetch so that I don't lose out on all my fetchable lands, I guess. How many fetches are left in my deck? One, two, three. I only have like two fetches left in my deck that are dead. It's not bad. Uh, let's put the Lurus in my hand. I don't really think I need to hold up like hard cast negation or anything here. Oh, wait, no. I would have eight cards in hand. So we need to win? I don't think we need to win. Aren't we extracting maximum value? Aren't we having all the fun? Do we really need to win? Is winning better than drawing cards? The age-old question. Well, 
like currently how am like having just so much fun oh i guess i could have played seal yeah i don't know <laughs> it just doesn't matter right like nothing nothing truly matters from this point <laughs> it's dead time you are right i could have done a variety of other things as well oh malevolent hermit we're doing it <laughs> just, <we're> just <laughs> i got some two power two drops <laughs> oh shit is it even worth it to kill this jet i guess it puts them off of uh minsk and boo i don't know it doesn't matter I don't have any more fetchables though. What happens when we draw one of our fetch lands? Uh oh, what do we got? What's happening? Elvish Spirit Guide. That's a resolver. <laughs> this is a very good cube deck. Oh, I was looking for ways to add looting to our deck. Uh, I guess you're right. We do. We can loot with our ring bearing. Uh, I don't really. Ah, it doesn't matter. Whatever. Attack with this thing. Man. We are living in the dream. I only have seven cards in hand. I mean, are we sure we were, we're winning? Like, <laughs> Merchant Ancestral? Is that better than Luris? Bobble? I don't know, man. It's all, it doesn't matter. All right, let's play a Luris for fun. Should have forced the Spirit Guy? No, then we have, then the game, the game ends too fast if we do that. Oh no! Lightning Bolt! Alright, we'll play around it. No worries. <laughs> I wasn't lying like 10 minutes ago when I said the game was over and anyone could win. Oh, wait. Maybe we, we let them bolt and then Samwise it back for funds? <laughs> Well, fair green does beat, you know, like te the theoretically a collector, a four collector roof deck will be good against a variety of unfair decks. Uh, it's certainly not beating my blue white modern deck, though. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> we, we, we are, we are demonstrating the loops. Uh, I just, I don't know, attack with everything. Let's get this game over with. <laughs> uh, maybe they can win. What could I have in my hand? Maybe, I don't know, bad cards? I can just, I can do anything. Uh, I don't know, let's do... Let's do this one for fun. I haven't done that one in a while. Boom! Benevolent Geist. <laughs> no! Uh, I don't know. Let's do... Let's do double spell pierce. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They could have a spirit guide, though. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 that's next turn. They're drawing that next turn. We just did a bobble this turn. It's fine. We'll we'll just Samwise back our, our, our Luris for fun. <laughs> I'm gonna over I'm gonna have so many cards in my hand. It doesn't it, it doesn't matter what we choose to do. <laughs> I'll I'll bring back my Luris for fun here though. 
Oh, I need to choose a new ring bear. Uh, Snapcaster Mage, in case I draw Caracas. Yeah. What can I do with my ring bearer now? I can loot. Hell yeah. Uh, I will pitch a spell pierce. <laughs> oh, shit. Good times. All right. Blue white modern strikes again. All right. So against my opponent's red green value deck, I'm going to bring in three swords to plowshares. Uh, and then I'm going to take out. So the problem is their best card is Boo, but maybe it's fine. Maybe it just we save our forces for Boo and it's fine. Uh, dress down. I actually don't think dress down is very good against my opponent's deck. They don't have a lot of ETBs usually, so maybe we'll just take out some of this non. Does this thing hit non creature spells? Oh, it does. Oh, it does. Yeah, we'll take out the spell prayers and the mind break trap. And I guess they do have like lightning bolts, but does it matter? I don't think I need a dress down. Oh, I don't. Well, I'm not need to cut anything else. I don't have any good cards to bring in. All right, whatever. I'm over it. You know, I think this is sweet revenge for all the times I show up with a deck that gets cra uh, slapped by Collector Roof. I think this is sweet, sweet revenge here. Alright, this hand's pretty good. It's got Ancestral, Force, Wasteland, Mox, On Color Mox, even. I think it's mostly a blue white control deck, but you could maybe call it a blue white Delver deck. You got it. Ignoble High Arc. How do we want to play this? Yeah, I mean, it's more, it is a tempo deck, but in the scheme of vintage, it's closer to a control deck. Uh... They don't really play three drops that I'm worried about. I guess they could play like pyroblast or something i don't know if this is like i mean they can play tarmogoyce and stuff so it might not even be a good play and i want to have a different card to pitch to force yeah i think i would rather just like try to find an ancestral spot but i guess if they tap out for tarmogoyce oh i didn't know you had caverns cavern on goblin what does that mean chat green goblin oh Really? Okay. Uh, all right, sure. Sam, see, that's a good reason to hold Wasteland, huh? Though I guess we could fetch Sam and just get another fetch back too. Yeah, that's a great reason to hold Wasteland for Sam. Kind of a mistake, I would think. We didn't have a Sam, but... Strip mine, eh? Oh, that's another... What is this? This is their best card. This card's really good, though, to be fair. Yeah, they got Mental Misstep? Shit. Uh, I can't afford... I can't afford it. I have to force... Alright. We did not get an Ancestral through here. Sure. 
sure. So I, man, if I had the, if I had Wastelands still, we'd be in such a great spot with this Sam Lock. I guess maybe not the greatest spot considering they have double high arc, but save fetch for Sam. We don't even have any more fetchables though. Like we'll have one island, right? Like if it was a strand, maybe I should have, yeah, I guess so. I was just planning on using Sam when they strip mine me, but maybe they won't even strip mine me. If they play second boo here, we are in trouble. Uh-oh, I guess that stops everything. Right, I was planning on undoing the strip if that was a thing that was happening, but might not be even a thing that's happening. Well, I didn't want to play Caracas because it doesn't like immediately work well with sam with a strip mine in play right because i have to let the krakus die and then the sam brings back the krakus i was holding up sam for strip mine is why i didn't get luris but now i'm obviously going to get luris but i'm still gonna hold up sam though I, unfortunately they can just eat with the scavenging use though to be fair, my opponent has not always been the strongest player in terms of eating with scavenging goose, so. Yeah, sure. Kind of annoying. I think I just I mean they're just gonna eat it, right? I guess it's just it's fine. We'll just go to combat block and bring back Sam with Luris on the next turn or maybe. Oh, fuck, I can't block, because it's humongous. The scavenging use is going to be an issue unless we draw removal, huh? Yeah, I, I can return Caracas if they don't eat it. Ah, uh, hmm. Man, this whole mental misstep on my Ancestral is going to be a problem. They, see, they just, they let me buy it back. Like, it's really odd they play Scavenging Ooze and then they never choose to use it. I don't really understand. I don't know if, like, they have a, a something else they value or, I mean, that's the perfect possible. It's the best possible draw here. I don't really know, but this is like a reoccurring thing that happens with them. I'm not I'm not really sure. I don't know. I don't I don't know what the reason is. Cuz they use their scavenging use, but they never use it when I think they should use it. I'm not really sure why. Um so I think I'm just going to hold the Luris in hand until I can play it with Caracas available. And then I'm just going to block and bounce my Samwise for now. I definitely think I played with my lands badly. Um, like, every, every, almost every single land I played was incorrect, probably. They drew another boo? Well, we have Caracas for the hamster, so... Yeah, I mean, if they eat... If they eat Caracas with the boot, with the the collector roof, or, or sorry, with the scavenging use, I think we lose this game quite badly. The scavenging use was the perfect counter to what we had going on.
All right, well, now I get to get hit by four for four damage still. So unless I block and then buy it back with Luris at some point, but I don't think I'm going to do that right away. So you just take another four, maybe. I don't even have anything I buy back with my Luris right away. I feel like I have to attack this Boo as well. I mean, we might end up putting ourselves in bolt range and dying, right? The second Boo is so... I mean, like the, I think boo, the two Boos are the two strongest cards in their deck. So it's quite unfortunate. They could... Does this thing target... Okay. Sure. I guess I should have let them attack with the boo last turn and bounced it. I feel like what? I should definitely have let them attack with the boo last turn and bounced it. it would have saved me four life. I just go to one, maybe. Oh, but then I can't go to one because I'll get booed. Well, then they just sack any unit, right? And I die. Oh, I feel like my opponent drew all the best cards. That's unfortunate. This messed up on Ancestral was so good. I didn't play this game very well, though. Wait, what? So confused. I don't know if we have the card quality to get out of this game. Kind of needed that Luris, which is why I waited so long to Caracas and everything, but... No, this is this is the deck they play. <sighs> so if they're going to do this, I can block return Sam replay Sam Gives me more draws. <sighs> like, what do I draw here that gets me out of this game? Engineered explosives on... No. Uh, swords. Okay. So here I can crack. I don't think I can attack them. I think I have to pass and wait. Because I really want to use the swords on the oof. Yeah, but then what happens? I guess that's true. Okay, maybe that's true. So my ring bearer can't be blocked by creatures with greater power. So I can attack the boo and loot. Which will let me get rid of this flooded strand, which is I have no use for. Oh my god. Uh okay. Alright. 
That's quite good. All right. Uh, that's fine. Sam is really good here. I can kill, I can play Sam and buy back my other Sam, right? And that gives me a blocker and I have Krakus. So I think we're now winning. I think we are now winning. I mean, we do die to another lightning bolt for what it's worth. So I'm just going to swords this. Oh, I I did not do it in response to the Bro, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. What what are what are our life totals anyways? Sure. All right, well, so now I'm going to end of turn, bounce this boo. And then I'm going to play a new Sam to up my ring count. And then bring back my other Sam. Uh, I can do another Sam to get my ring count all the way, I guess. This Sam. That Sam. Okay. I have I am fully tempted by the ring, which does what? If it becomes blocked, they have to sack the creature. If I deal combat to a player, they lose three life. Okay, cool. That makes my creatures my creature slightly better. Okay. So I get to loot every turn too. My god. All right, I attack the boo, and I loot, and I'll loot away this daze. And then I'm going to not play Lavinia, because I would like to hold up force. Uh, this Caracas has just been unbelievable. And like like I said earlier, if my opponent had simply ate the Caracas with the ooze, we would lose this game, but uh I know I think we need to have Caracas up for Boo. Oh, what is uh that doesn't do anything, right? I can't, like, give these counters to another creature. And then... All right, I don't know what that does. But I'm just going to bounce it. I mean, I have force for another creature, right? So, all right. Uh, there's no reason for me to play a new Sam, right? Okay. I get to loot that away. Cathar Commando. That's a good one. Okay. If they find a besage you for my Krakus, I guess I, uh, things get like a little annoying. Uh, but I like get my Krakus back, but I don't have it right away, obviously. Oh, opponent, that is not going to go well for you. So 
So I can trade with any of my units, really, right? Because I can just Sam buy back Sam and then Sam. <laughs> this is so dumb. Okay. Block. And then I will play another Sam and buy back that Sam that died. And then I will bounce the boo. <laughs> That's probably actually worse than like Cathar Commando because Cathar Commando would have killed Boo, right? Oh my god, I need to freaking attack faster. We cannot go to a game three. I will have the strip mine Sam lock as well. But once I deal with the boo, the the the, the, the boo combination. Oh no! I I I exposed myself because I don't have the Sams anymore. I guess I could just bounce the Sam back, and then I just take four and die, right? Wow. I threw this game. Justice for the misplay? My misplay was getting the strip mine lock on? God, I'm so bad. It was. I should have just waited one more turn until the boo was dead. No, I would have taken four and died if I had, like, bounced my Sam and replayed my Sam. Who cares about strip mine? Me! I care about strip mine. So I'm actually going to attack the Cathar Commando at the Boo and this other one at them because it's going to do the three extra damage. Ah, uh, we should have plenty of clock. Oh, they have bolt, we lose. That has nothing to do with misplays. Why? I mean, of course they have it. We have to win in three minutes, we're doomed. Oh, it's Veil. Uh, okay. This thing is still unblockable, though. We just don't have a recursion engine anymore. Did we have to force that? I think so. Maybe I don't even need to swords them. I shouldn't have played all of these things, I guess. Whatever. I don't care anymore. I need to play faster now. Because <laughs> they have 21 life. I guess I still am dead to a bolt. Is 
That's only if they block, which they can't. Because it's I, they can't block my, my thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I do lose the bolts, though, so... Oh, uh, another boy. I have enough chump blockers here where I should just be able to kill them with Sam. I mean, this does speed up the clock substantially. What if they have Berserk, though? I'm just waiting for them to draw Lightning Bolt at the last second. Pyroblast? That doesn't do it. Oh, I'm definitely, I'm definitely attacking all next turn. <laughs> they they're holding the bolt for time. I like it. That'd be pretty fun. I don't even know if I'd be mad. That's some next level plays. All right, so I have five unblockable damage, and then one of these three get in here. I guess I shouldn't attack with Snapcaster Mage. Because both of these are lethal, and the Snapcaster isn't. Oh my god. Yeah. We took game actions, let me tell you. Let me tell you how many game actions we took. Many. Okay, that was a lengthy round one. Let's see if I can play slightly faster here in round two. Or just die really fast, that could happen too. The sand doesn't do much, but it uh, it has magic cards, so can't imagine not keeping. I do firmly believe you want to be a Luris deck if we're doing this kind of controlling thing. You can totally build a deck that's not a Luris deck, but it would it would not be the same deck. Man, imagine if this was our good old Luris, where I could just play Luris and would rebuy my Black Lotus for free. <sighs> I miss those days. That's the last time Vintage was good. Oh my. Mountain Lotus? I I I like the Luris unnerfed metagame. It's too bad that dressing this down is just simply not close to good enough. The question is, do I want to pitch Snapcaster Mage? Or do I want to pitch dress down think I'm going to pitch dress down I'm not convinced that's correct but Hmm. All right. Well, I don't have a lot happening anymore. I would have loved to dress this down, but it gets too much value over time. If I had a swords in my hand, I could like dress it down and then swords it and play a snapcaster and take the initiative. It would have been sweet. Uh, none of that happened, obviously. Next turn, we can play Luris Lotus. So that'd be fun. I can also fetch basic island, basic planes uh, if they get a blood moon in play here. Interesting. 
Uh, I, I would normally agree, but against specifically what my opponent is playing, I think the value of having a Snapcaster with a Lurus is higher. Fuck. All right, well. Oh, I wanted to Wasteland this, didn't I? <laughs> I was, uh, I was zoned in on the Lurus life here. If I had dressed it down, they would not have gotten initiative. But I don't think I was beating the 5-3 that gets an extra card every turn. So... Yeah. Probably should have wastelanded this Ancient Tomb. Uh, but I, I, was, I was tunnel visioned on my, my cat nightmare. So... Maybe you could make the argument that I could dress down every turn and bring it back with Luris. I guess that's a fair argument you could have made. Maybe I should have kept the dress down then. Uh... Next turn, we have Snap Force. Uh, there's the, look at that look at that argument boom snap force are they gonna play another caves caves would be pretty reasonable here uh, what is that i had f3 really quickly two damage to each creature and destroy bruh Bruh. 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 I believe we've been bested in the arena of ideas. <laughs> And by that, I mean, <laughs> I have bested them in the arena of ideas. So my opponent is playing a modular spell with one target. I have fizzled the spell by removing the target. And my opponent's spell does not resolve. It wasn't, the attempt was made. My opponent... Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Now, now the cat is dead. I see you, opponent. Why didn't they just hard cast this fury? Oh, I would be so dead to hard cast fury. <laughs> they got too greedy. They dug too deep. I really need to draw that Ancestral Recall card. Nice Wasteland, Justin. <laughs> so free! I guess I'll do it on their turn in case I get Mind Break Trapped. Oh, the ring. That's how that's the only way a blue Xerox style deck wins in vintage is you just you have to draw ancestral. Oh, I guess I could have waited until after I drew this bobble, huh? Unfortunately, we're not gonna get on library because we have to force this ring, but They could have had a Pyro. Alright, I'm gonna try to get back on Library of Alexandra. I'm just gonna hold these cards unless they play another ring or something. Oh, I drew a lot of not great magic cards. Library, though, that's a magic card, let me tell you. 
Library has actually been great. We've been playing against all fair decks. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Mox Pearl Resolvers. We got Resolvers. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. I can't let you murder my poor Snapcaster Mage like that. Do I speak Italian? No. No, I don't. Strip mine. All right, I'm going to hold that. I, I I think we need to get on library before they top deck a ring, which is better than library. No, I don't think so. I'm so close. Please don't play something I have to force. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. Let's go. Hmm, what do I want to do? I could play the strip so that if they don't do anything, end of turn, I can strip Sam. Mm, at some point, I'll kill Redlands, but... All right, so if I do this now, I can still do this now. I can go strip this. Sam back my strip mine. Uh, Snapcaster is my ring bearer. And then replay strip mine, attack for four. Ooh, we are going off. What an excellent time. Oh god, another fury. Oh, fiery confluence. I don't think I care about that. I don't have any other fetches left. I guess I can just draw now and see if I find another blue card. Sweet. What do I have in my yard? Snap. Any counters? Anything? Whatever. Let's just attack. You move, opponent! They know that they're trying to time me out. Smart. 
They saw my last one. Snap trap. Yeah, I guess we could have done that too. I don't know, man. Whatever. All roads. All roads. All right, I don't have any pyro, uh, red elemental blasts. No, blue elemental blasts. I don't have any blue elemental blasts. Um, I guess I just bring in a bunch of swords because they have furies and uh, uh, magus of the moons and stuff. Dress down is like not very good against Magus, unfortunately. Don't know if we play that. Um, I don't even. We didn't even see anything that we could seal. Serenity is probably not worthwhile. It's not. It's not like they actually play Blood Moon. Like you typically just play Magus and Vintage because there's not that much creature removal. Like what's Serenity doing? I don't. I don't think it's going to be good. Uh, there was a mono red list they might have copied. Let me just go check what it has in it. Uh, Magus, it's not, they didn't copy it because this one's completely different. Um, I don't know, maybe just some swords. And instead of playing Days Dress Down on the draw... Lavinia seems horrible. Something like that. I don't know. Not really sure. I got a cat. Okay. Um, this hand kind of seems bad to me. I don't have a fetch, so I can't get a basic... I have a misstep, but it only really hits Pyroblast or like a Soul Ring or something. I do have a removal spell, but I'm not going to be able to cast it if they play turn one Magus. I think this is just a mulligan. Yeah, I guess they have the ring. I should probably bring in... Uh, the problem is bringing in Needle if they keep in Fiery Confluence. I should have brought in Needle. Needle is what I should have brought in for the ring. I didn't think about the ring. Uh, man, I think this hand is bad. I'm going to mulligan this hand. Uh, <laughs> okay. Has all the same problems as my starting hand had, but don't think we're gonna get on the library. So maybe I should have brought in kept gush. Uh, what we can do is like play Misty. That only gets island. Oh, they're just gonna blood moon us. Oh, they have fables. Okay, interesting. Misstep hits a very, very important target of uh, Pyroblast. All right, so I'm just going to play this so I can fetch white or blue. Pitched only one mountain. I think that means we're getting um, initiative creatured here. We're just so far behind. Don't know if we're going to be able to catch up. We really needed a force. Maybe they're just hard casting Fury. No, I think Plains is more important than Island. But it would let us cast Brainstorm. Yeah, I'm going to have to draw swords. Okay, this is fine. I guess I could have played library. I just think playing library and then having them play a uh, uh, thing is super bad. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is brainstorm and look for swords. And then maybe I can even Sam back if I wanted to. Okay, so that technically can kill the caves. 
<sighs> but it's so bad. It's fine, though. I guess we can just put back library misstep. March pitching double Sam. That's so bad. I guess we could just march the Goblin Shaman and take a big hit from Caves. Uh, or we just take a hit and then we end of turn Sam, bring back a fetch land, and then go for steal the initiative. Maybe. I don't know. It's all really bad. If I do that, I should fetch a Tundra. Okay, this does make just marching the goblin better. But it's still super bad because I can't get a creature in play. Oh my god, what am I even supposed to do here? I can fetch on my upkeep. That way I could play a Sam and get it back if I want. I just don't think I'm going to have time. Mental missed up on the top of their library. It's a good miss. But we are at 12 versus a Trampler. And they have Trap coming. And they can... I need to draw exactly swords. And they have to have nothing. Because if they copy this thing, it's just super doomed. It's. I think we're just so far behind on the draw. Okay, let's just get out of here. Uh. All right. So definitely four swords. Let's get a daze back in on the play. Let's take the seal out. I just hate this Slovenia. It looks so bad. Let's get this needle. Well, the needle is like just for the ring. I don't know if that's even worth. Let's just do this. I don't think Dress Down Prevent the Initiative is actually good. I think we're better off just trying to steal the initiative. Because, like, the creature itself is, like, really strong. Like, if I Dress Down the Initiative, they still have a 5-3 that draws a card every turn and it's trampling. Like, it's, we're there, it's still going to kill us. So we're better off just swordsing it and trying to steal the initiative from them with all our creature deck. Yeah, that's a hell of a hand. That's a beautiful hand, if I've ever seen one. I'm going to upkeep Ancestral. That way I can't get uh, Pyroblasted. But I, and I have coverage of Misstep with Misstep. End days. Misstep. Misstep. Okay... Island or mountain crypt. Is there any world where I just force this crypt? Probably not. Especially because I'm just dazing this. I guess I could have spirit guide for days. Be pretty bad. Our deck actively wants this extra clock. I guess I could just kill it now. It's kind of interesting. Magus. See, so I do have Pyroblast. I actually think I, I am going to kill this crypt after it flips.
Might buy me a whole turn. I got three damage in. Ah! Oh, I need to draw a fetch land for an island soon. I don't think this merchant scroll gets me anything. Uh, I do have a wasteland though, I guess. That might buy me a turn as well. That's also a fetch for an island. I think we're I think we just have to hope they don't draw an ancient tomb and wasteland them. I mean I could go snap ancestral, but if they then play a Magus. Is it worse? It's worse, right? If they draw a spirit guide, a city of traders, or an ancient tomb, or a mox. Oh god, there's so many hits. I probably, I can't ambush Viper because I won't have a white mana. And they'll have Pyroblast for my Snapcaster. <sighs> Which leads me to more winning scenarios. Snap Ancestral fetch, fetch Basic or Wasteland Them. Well, Wasteland has a lot of bad problems if they draw any accelerated mana source. So they have five Moxen, Black Lotus is six, say Petal, seven, four Spirit Guides, 11, uh, three Tombs, 14, some number of tra City of Traders, maybe 15 hits. Well, that's true, too. We will never get to resolve Snap Draw, probably. I mean, I don't know if that's not true. I don't know if that's true, because eventually they're going to cast their Magus, right? So eventually we'll have the opportunity to Snap Draw. And maybe we'll have found more viable cards by then. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna get cut off of white mana, and white mana is our is our is our most important part in this matchup, I think. I mean, we if we draw, we can't even draw force, right? Because they have mountain pyroblast. I'm gonna wasteland them. We still get a commando down in this line as well, so. They drew Spirit Guide. <sighs> Alright. We would have drawn Library. Let's keep track of what we would have drawn. That is just a broken draw. <laughs> That's incredible. Oh my, that feels very, very illegal. Just an absolutely messed up draw as it fixes our mana and gives us a Luris and we can snap Ancestral if they ever shields down. It's actually just the probably the single best draw in my entire deck.
Ooh, Luris, baby. Let's go. Yeah, it was gonna be a it was gonna be a long game that we were probably unfavored in, and now it's very much in our favor. They need to do something fast. To be fair, if they find Fury, could be problematic, right? So I might bait the the pyroblast here with spell pierce and then go snap ancestral. Or I could just snap spell pierce to be fair. I don't know. Is that I guess we present lethal that way, so I think that's probably better. So I just attack all, and then they have to draw Fiery Confluence. I guess they can just draw Fury. They can't draw Fury. They have to draw exactly Fiery Confluence. Kind of crazy. On to game round three here. We got Tanaguchi. Tanaguchi has been doing uh, bug show and tell oath stuff. Wow. These are magic cards. Keep. I think I'm going to try to get on library to start this game. If I die, I die. Okay, Underground Sea. Okay, Soul Ring. Okay. Manifold Key. Okay. Soul Ring. Yeah, uh huh. Okay. We didn't die. Good news, everyone. Up to seven. Up to eight. Down to seven. Pass. I think we we don't want to do that yet. I do want to do that. But I don't, I don't think we're doing it yet. Okay. Here is where the magic happens. Play Caracas. Yo, what if they're on Breacher or something? Do I really want to activate Library into an active possible Breacher here? Like, we don't know they're on Bug Oath. That's two Underground Seas. They could be on Blue Black, Esper Saga Initiative, anything like that, right? So maybe the plan is just Caracas. I go down to... I can't... I can't... Play my EE e. and I have to activate library, right? I don't really have a choice. I guess I theoretically could cast EE e. off. No. I could not activate library. I could just go Caracas E. It feels like a read, but...
Is that even good? It's definitely good. So maybe it's actually just Island E. <laughs> uh shit man okay that's that's the worst possible thing that oh i should have activated my library and tried to draw a mental misstep for the mental misstep yeah all right so they have whole breacher and mental misstep i don't think i was coming out of this ahead ever oh i hope you had a good stream next yeah, I don't think there was any world where I was ever coming ahead here coming out ahead here, right? Like none of my plays would have put me in a good spot. And now we're dead to Vault Key. Oh wait, we're not dead to Vault Key. Because I have Cathar Commando. There's no reason for me to not wait until they do everything, right? Yeah. It's been okay, yeah. This player though all right we've been bested couldn't i caracas library e no there was there was no sequence there where i, I was trying to play around hole breacher and i got wrecked i thought we were actually in a good spot because them vampiricing for vault key was actually like super low value right if we if we answer that with a, a cathar commando i think we're extremely far ahead I just can't imagine that we're supposed to go land go there. Like, I just don't think that's good. They they the, the spell pierce is basically turned off with keys uh soul ring in play. Oh, you're saying they... They didn't flow any mana? What are you talking about? I don't understand. They had one floating from ring? That doesn't matter. That's irrelevant, right? What does that matter? I don't understand. It's not, it's not relevant. They they didn't they did not need the mana to do both they had they had, they did not that is untrue creature costs three and vampiric costs one and they had four mana plus a, a ring. Oh, plus a, a untap. How 
have to hold this wasteland for Saga. Uh, I probably have to miss up this because they're probably going to get Tinker, right? I mean, I have a negation, but... They use the one to under... Why would they do that? What? 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 Am, I, am I losing my mind? I don't understand. What are we talking about? Can someone tell me what I'm missing? Okay. I feel like I'm super doomed here, right? I'm never getting this library turned on. Even with days. I guess maybe eventually I can put Luris in my hand as an extra card. Probably better to just time walk. And just build out my mana base. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not even good, right? Like, why wouldn't you just hold that for my negation that you know I'm going to be... I don't understand. Sure. Sure. So do we think they're just on the initiative deck? Like, I'm supposed to just play Luris, right? They have force, they have force. I'm going to play Lotus back first because I want to be able to hold up negation. Uh, and then I'll start looping bobbles and eventually we'll get back on library. Maybe a path to victory here. So they know about my negation and my wasteland. So. They have all the keys. Well, not not the manifold key, obviously, but damn Luris Tech. Sam Luris one. Sam Luris two. Sam Luris three. Okay. Well, I feel like we're in an okay spot. We could use additional help. Uh oh. Uh, I mean, I have to save this. Okay. Well, I certainly regret bringing back my Black Lotus. Oh, if I had wasteland that I couldn't get, couldn't have gotten swords. Oh, 
jeez. <laughs> okay. No, no. I mean, I know it's correct. I know I can't wasteland, but... I mean, I feel like my opponent just outdrew the shit out of me in these games. Oh, okay. Brutal. Okay, round four. Uh, Anti-Rush has been playing some Death Rage Shaman decks, so this should be an interesting different departure here. The sand looks reasonable. Got some fair magic cards. Classic Gush Hand of Caracas Wasteland. Definitely pass, holding open all of our options. If we get Wastelanded, we have Sam Rebuy, quite strong. Saga Gaming. Ooh. All right, well, let's see if we can bait a something with this Cathar Commando, which also answers Urza Saga. We have a Wasteland and uh, a Cathar Commando, so we're in quite the spot here. I'm thinking about just... I don't know. I can Wasteland rebuy. I can Cathar Commando rebuy. I actually think Cathar Commando rebuy is slightly better. Because it helps us advance our mana base. And then we still can return Sam and do Wastelands the next turn. Obviously this exposes us to them having like held Mana Crypt Tinker or something, but... We have to rebuy the same turn that you use it. Yeah. I don't think tapping out is like super dangerous against an Urza Saga deck. Like, don't think it's a big deal. Like, my opponent's investing time into Urza Saga means they're not going to kill us with good cards. It must be Breach, Tinker Breach, or something like that. <laughs> My opponent just said, learning what the ring does, one moment. I don't think I'm going to Wasteland lock this turn. I think this turn I want to hold open Cathar Commando, Spell Pierce. I don't think there's like a lot of value in hitting their non-Saga lands. Right now, and then if they don't do anything and I feel like it, I can still go end of turn wasteland, bounce my Samwise, replay my Samwise, end of turn, and bring back my wasteland. Like I, I can play the the whole wasteland loop on and uh, and on opponent's end stuff. I just couldn't have done it before because they had Saga and I didn't want it to tick up. Right. So I think just Wasteland Go here. If they play two Moxen, I'll be interested in like EEing on zero as well. All right, that definitely makes me want to EE on zero. We still have Cathar Commando for like a, a Tinker as well. One ring. Oh, we definitely want to pierce that. That one we can't answer with our destroy spells. 
Nice. Clean spell pierce answer. Uh, no, no, we don't know what we lost to. Opponent didn't play any cards other than Volt Key and uh, Esper Lands. Could have just been Esper Saga. Could have been no Sagas in Esper. There was a 5-0 recently where opponent played no played no initiative creatures and no Sagas. So it's no one, no one knows because the initiative creatures are completely irrelevant and useless inside of that deck. All right, let's get this in play. If we don't draw a land... I think I'm interested in gushing here. Well, maybe we just want to go EE -E on zero, explode. Man, we have so many good options here. Well, I guess no matter what, we should attack first, right? Well, unless... No, that's not true. If we go for, like, rebuy Sam, we could maybe get a loot off. Eh, that's probably not worth it. I think I'm going to start with float white, float, float blue, gush, and see what we draw. Malevolent Hermit. All right, let's go EE -E on zero. negated maybe i should have played malevolent hermit first because now i can't rebuy huh okay shit okay negated um i can still go wasteland rebuy or i can just play a malevolent hermit holding open cathar commando and hermit I can still do that, I guess, if I play all of my things. I can kill Crypt and rebuy. I don't think I want to kill Crypt. They're at nine, and just having a Cathar Commando and play Beats, Blights, uh, 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 Breach, and Citadel anyways, right? I could technically buy Luris and play Luris and bring back Lotus. <laughs> I mean, I'm not very worried about second ring. We should beat second ring pretty easily. I can I buy Luris, replay Luris, and have level and hermit back up? No. Can I buy Luris, play Luris, and hold up malevolent hermit? No. This also puts in uh, seven power. I guess I, this doesn't hold open both Cathar Commando and Malevolent Hermit, though. So I feel like whatever play I made was just not very good there, right? Fury main? Holy shit. If I don't swords it, kill their ruby, waste their volcanic, like what's the chance I race their fury with mana crypt? I think that's fine.
I can always storage it if I have to, absolutely have to. Yeah, I did not play around main deck Fury there. I guess I can flash back this Hermit from the yard this turn if I want to as well. Seems fine, I guess. I mean, we automatically have pressure in two places. They missed their... They did not lose their coin flip. I get hit for six. Also, all my spells are uncounterable now, which is something. So my opponent's playing, like, blue, red, tinker with fury in the one ring, I guess. guess that's something. That is uh, not what any of that means. They lost that flip, so they're at three. I go to six. I have an uncounterable force. I can play my Luris, and we can see if the flip wins, and if not, I can still swords it if I need to. This looks very good spot, right? Rest down also buys a turn, huh? If I want it to. Wait, I'm, I'm I don't I can just block and bounce with with Luris as well, right? Oh, I have freaking Black Lotus too. We're gonna we're we're this is fine. Our deck is sick. Is so much value. Upkeep a braid. My Luris. Just bounce it back to my hand. They won the flip. But I can just uncounterable dress down. It's going to turn off double strike. And then I attack for two in the air and win. It was a really interesting game. Okay. So our opponent is on blue, red, tinker. I, I mean, my opponent would have to have volcanic island lightning bolt. I w and they had missed all their land drops. They couldn't even have a fetch. So no, I was not worried about getting bolted. Uh, man, what do we want to do here? It feels tough to pinpoint how we want to board versus this. I mean, we probably want a needle for the one ring. No, you can't. You're not. No one. You're not more unlucky than me. You can't. We, we, we don't do that here. <laughs> we didn't see any saga, right? Or did we? 
No, we did, right? We wastelanded. We Cathar commandoed one. So it's blue, red, saga, tinker. Mm, I just want another dress down. And then... I mean, what cards are bad? Are they all good? Maybe like we can cut one snap and one swords. Hmm. Bobble, bobble, E. E. Pierce. Sure, why not? Really, monkey. All right, well, now I just really want to draw Moxon. Not good. Kind of sad I cut the Bowmasters now. They have a Talarian Academy. We have a Moxon! Pain. Gonna hold up Spell Pierce rather than play EE. -E. No, we have Mobbles. They don't have any Moxon. I mean, they could hit a Moxon. See what they hit. There's probably plenty of things they can play. Snapcaster Mage. Imagine they have, like, Ancestral. Oh. Something. Just going to play it. Ambush Viper? You love to see it. Uh... So, I like Time Walk. Mm. Sure. Maybe I should have played it off of this so I could have played E on 1. I don't even know if E on 1 is what I want to be doing. I just want to play a creature, right? Like, this thing just loses to creatures in play. Boris doesn't matter. I wasn't going to use it anyways. Oh, I just had second. I mean, we're just, unfortunately, on the draw here, right? How are we ever coming back from this? I also boarded out all of my removal. I didn't really expect there to be monkeys in this deck, but I guess if you want to play expressive iteration, you have to play monkeys. All right, well, I mean, if they have it, they have it. If they don't, I draw three. But I actually drew no land. So, but I have E on one or zero, I guess. Uh, my opponent's not playing Wastelands. They're playing Sagas and stuff. All right, well, I mean, it's not like we're under crazy threat here. It's not. It's an anti-rush brew. We played against a lot of uh, people who have their own styles and brews tonight. We knew they had Talarian Academy in their hand. What is this? Hard cast fury. All right, so we need to bring in. We need to keep in swords because <laughs> I am not beating this. I thought they had like I don't know a fury or something, but <sighs> all right. So what is going to get me there? So I think the first thing is just rebuy buy Luris. We need to play Luris. And then we can play Sam and buy back Lotus. And then we can play... I 
focus on Sam. Then we can play Lotus, and we can play Commando. We can play Lavinia and Commando. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. Uh, I'm bad. All right, I'm just going to play Seal and kill the Time Vault then, I guess. Or just leave it, leave open Seal. So I can't play Engineered Explosives for five colors, unfortunately. Um, but I can chump this every turn with Luris. So they need to draw another removal spell. Fuck, really? What format are we even playing? Okay. All right, new plan. New plan. Bring back swords. Well, I don't think we're switching Spell Pierce. My opponent is still playing a big blue Tinker deck. I think Spell Pierce is still good. I think I'm just going to try to counter the ring. I'm not going to try to play a needle for the ring. I thought they'd be like more controlling, but they're clearly not. Mm. Yeah, but I think Spell Pierce is like actively quite good against them. It's like very good against Expressive Iteration. The ring. Like, I can't. I, if my plan is to counter the ring, I can't be boarding out Spell Pierce. Yeah, every matchup's a Mind Break Trap matchup. My opponent is on full Mox and Ring, so. Maybe I'll just take out the. I feel like I want to play the Days on the Play. Maybe I'll just bring out the Seal. I have a lot of active answers. We did see Saga game one, right? I'm not like losing my mind. Is there actually Sagas in the deck? Yeah, maybe we could have taken out a library on the play. That's a fair point. I keep forgetting that we have that. Dak Fury. All right, turn one Dak. What the? F well, this would be good if they didn't have full mox in. They pitched two lands. I mean, I need to get a, a, an attacker in play. I think I just still use a wasteland, though. And then I just... Play a Cathar Commando. End step. Uh, not the best ancestral recall monkey. I mean, if this hits a creature, it's super doomed. But I have to let my, I have to take it. Library of Alexandria. Wait, the, wait, the library would have been so good. Mm. <laughs> Are we serious? Wait, what just happened? Oh, I just lost my light. That's weird. I hope it didn't break. It's 
It's probably just not plugged in. So the problem is if they hard cast Fury next turn. But I can stop them by doing that, by doing like Wasteland, Wasteland, right? Is that worth it? It's probably worse than simply like one Wasteland into hold open another Cathar Commando Swords or something. Wait, I lost both? I accidentally flipped the switch that powered that strip and the batteries must have drained out. <laughs> All right, this turn one DAC has been a huge issue. Wish we had a spell pierce for it on turn one. I mean, I, I can't imagine we win this game. My opponent just looted away Fury Ragavan? Hello? Wait, should I just strip should I just wasteland them then? They're out of they're out of they're out of mana, right? Is that a winning strategy? They discarded too many lands to their deck fade and then they got wastelanded out of the game. Ring ring? Banana phone? Spell peers? What? All right, something, something, something went wrong along the way here. I can't tell you what it was, but but something definitely went wrong. I think my opponent was too greedy in their in their DAC activations. Once I kill this Dak, I can kill their Sapphires and stuff as well. No, I need the Commando to kill the stupid Dak Raiden first. There is no shot we're supposed to be winning this game. No chance. No way. I won't say it. No, no. <laughs> that's a deep cut. All right, Fury, Evoking Fury, that's that's fine. What we can do is blow up their Sapphire and then end of step a Samwise. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god. And now we just end step a Samwise and bring back our Cathar Commando. Oh, Force Blue card. All right, they're out of cards. Lavinia. Yeah, that looks good here. Doesn't. Oh, so is Lavinia better than playing a Cathar Commando that can kill Dak Faden? Sam is really good, Raphael. I think this card is quite strong. Uh, I don't know if Lavinia is better here. We're not destroying the mocks. That's the worst possible play of any of the options.
Yeah, I think you want one Sam at least in your Luris deck. Okay, destroy a top is the is the true worst play of all the options. Agreed. Tinker Ring has been discarded. Draw with top, play land. I'm going to hold Wasteland in case I draw Sam. I didn't draw Sam, but I, I'm still Wastelanding. Man, I... This is such a weird game. I I really am I'm a I'm a big fan of this card, which is why we're playing it tonight, so. Saga gaming. <laughs> Saga gaming. Against my Cathar Commando deck. Mm. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Get wrecked. Okay, fifth and final round with our Sam control deck. We're doing pretty well. Not a bad league at all. I have a cat. My opponent has a cat. <gasps> Is it? My opponent has something. Is it a cat? Is it a bird? Is it a Lutri? An otter, maybe? This pausing time window means they have a companion to reveal. Come on, Martio. Show me your pet. We can play Pokemon together. Moo! Cat mirror! Let's go, Catmure. Uh, keep. I have Ancestral and the Catmure. And Days back up. Classic BPK hand. Hell yeah, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what Marcio's up to. Because I just want to play Magic. But I'm... where's Marcio? You showed me your cat. Please respond. Wait, I didn't send it. Oh, I was so close. I showed you my cat. Please respond. I mean, it's also true they showed me their cat. But I responded. All right, I'm just going to get a non-basic because I want to be able to play all my spells. And I should be able to draw more lands after I Ancestral three lands, right? True or false? All right, put away the, put away, put away the Pokemon. Pokemon are gone. No, you're never better off playing a Saga deck, Raphael. That's, that's just factually inaccurate. You're always worse off putting Sagas in your deck. And you're always better putting Moxin in because Moxin are the broken cards. It's quite simple. Uh-oh. It's quite simple. Play the broken cards. My opponent might be Sheer Khan Gaming. Turbo Volt Key. Our deck is very well suited to beat Turbo Volt Key. 
they play a saga. We wasteland. We have seal of cleansing. Imagine if they played a glimmer void here and we went seal of cleansing your pearl. Ugh. I hate the glimmer void that they play in that deck. It makes me very mad. Yeah, but Sprouts was also baited by this deck many, many times. Many, many times. So I think here I'm just going to go Wasteland Seal. And then we'll pass with Days Up and Seal Up, and then we can go from there. We don't want to do anything. Like, we want to, if they invest too heavy in Moxin, we also have EE, which is nice. We should be pretty uniquely set up to be able to deal with their permanent base combo. So we've actually what I, I think we've hit very favorable matchups tonight. We've played against a lot of decks that I would consider to be quite fair. So they have their needle. So they're gonna needle I mean they have to needle seal. I, this is just fine, whatever. Sure. You have a needle. If you don't needle seal, then I can just seal it. And if you do needle seal, then I can just wasteland your saga, like Everything is fine. Sure. City of Brass. Truly gaming on the other side of the table today. I'd love to hit a land drop. Uh, or even better than a land drop was a Moxon, because then I could have gone Wasteland, Moxon, Sam, Wasteland. If I brainstorm, how sad am I going to be? I feel like I'm going to be so sad. But I ancestral for no lands already this game. Like, there's no way I brainstorm and hit no lands. There's no way. What's happening? Cluster gaming? All right. I don't think dazing is good because it doesn't really get us anywhere. I think we're just passing. At some point, we are going to need to find an answer to Alluris. I needed to cast Ancestral Recall with the fetch land. Get, get, get out of here, opponent. Or get out of here, Lonnie. No, I can make mana. I just, there's nothing to play with it. All right, so even if I don't draw a mana source, I can still go like seal. What is happening? They're, they they figured out they can put Luris in their hand. Po. What? I can just daze it. Or I could just seal the needle. Just daze it. It just, it means I can't draw another land, is what it means. And now I have to draw like a Moxin to get my full Sam value. Or I can just rebuy my seal. Opal on top. 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to kill the Saga and rebuy my seal. I guess I theoretically could rebuy my Bobble. I feel like the seal is better. Though I have an E. Maybe I just need to draw lands. Hmm. Maybe I have enough answers with Commando and Engineered Explosives. I mean, so does EE -E and Commando. Everything unlocks Wasteland. I, uh, I'm going to do this just in case I draw Force and I need to Force something. Snap. Holy sh... I would have been so mad about my Brainstorm resolving. I would have been so mad about my Brainstorm resolving. Oh my lord. <laughs> We're just getting bullied by my by deck. All right, so my opponent plays Opal and buys back Luris, I assume. And then we have to probably EE their board. I don't know. We've just been so, so constrained on mana. No Moxon, no lands. They, they drew PL for three. I mean, fuck off. What a joke. It's such a joke. <sighs> We're going to lose this game after resolving Ancestral. That's so gross. That's crazy. And they needed to draw the Opal to play the PO. I don't know, man. I mean, I, like, I could make other plays. The problem is I just didn't have any mana to make other plays. Like, I have all these options, but I just don't have any mana. This is kind of a reason that Daze is not very good on the other play as well. But then we would have used our Wasteland, and it would have been a nightmare. Because we wouldn't have drawn any lands anyways. So, that doesn't help us either. If they draw a land off of this PO, it's one of their other three cards. They can play Luris here and rebuy Lotus. And then we need to find a Luris answer as well. Like, it, it's not even that we didn't draw any lands. We also didn't draw any forces. We drew zero lands, zero mocks, and zero forces. Might have to, if they don't play a Luris this turn, then we want to eat E for zero. Are they just going to buy Luris this turn with the Lotus? Are they playing around my E? You almost never buy the Luris if you're not going to play it this turn. They hit another PO? That's the third PO! All right, well, they can't play Luris, Lotus, any, Lotus, Lotus anymore, so... I mean, it failed, Log. Like, their deck can't combo off. Like, it's not a real PO deck. It's a it's a Lurus Volky deck. They don't play the good cards. Like, they, what are they doing here? Like, they're still losing here. Like, this is still a losing board state for them.
We can beat constructs no problem. The thing I'm worried about is I really don't want them to find key. Um, my opponent's entire deck is based around Voltaic Key, or sorry, Manifold Key, Time Vault combo. And the minute you put it in the yard, it lets them do things like rebuy it with Luris, um, which we really don't want to happen. So I would rather the Saga not go to uh, finish, even though we can easily beat the Construct tokens. So the problem here is we have plenty of answers to their onboard, but we are constrained on mana, and if they find blue card force, which seems fairly likely because they haven't hit blue card force yet either, um, then all right, they found the key anyways. All right, so now we don't actually have to blow up this saga. We found force, but not a land. And we can't gush because we still have not found another land. And we can't snap Ancestral because we haven't found another land. So what do we do? We just hold opens, snap, misstep, force, spell, pierce, commando. I guess. I don't think I want to play E on zero now. I kind of want them to like go into a saga game plan if they, if, if possible, right? Like, I definitely wouldn't blow it up right away, but I also don't want them to not, like, make constructs, because that would be by far the worst use of their mana. We do at least technically have an answer now to lure it. Ugh. Holy heck. All right. So we're going to have to force Time Vault, which means we're going to have to make sure Luris also doesn't resolve, probably. Though I guess we have... Yeah, we, we do have answers... Like, this game is still so winnable, too. But we might just be, like, just constrained enough on mana where we can't win. Like, our deck is just so... Has so many answers to what they're trying to do and accomplish as a game plan. So they're going to vamp here, obviously, for Time Vault. Or, I guess, Force, if they already have Time Vault in their hand. No, no, I would rather them blank their draw step, and we have force and, and spell pierce. Uh, I don't think snap misstep is good there. I would rather them blank their draw step out. Force, pitch, snap. I guess if they have force backup, they can't have force backup because they have one card in hand. I guess they could have Bluster backup, maybe. So now they'll, they'll just either they'll make a Construct or they will buy back, they'll buy Luris. Okay, so they're going to go for Constructs. That's perfect for us. That's so good for us because now we can just deploy a Cathar Commando, which will give us additional insulation. Uh, and then we can just play the EE. All right, so this game's still winnable, still winnable. Sam, can we please, please? I wonder if I don't play the EE -E for another turn so that they go for double construct. No, but then they can do... Oh, wait, so what if they have a second needle in their deck? Right, I'm just going to play the EE... -E. I guess I could theoretically just blow up the Saga right now. But I need to hold this for Volt Key because they can play... They can play Luris and I no longer have a counterspell for Luris anymore. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. I could have put this on one, but I can't blow it up, so... I could also Cathar Commando the Needle and then Wasteland, but I, I can't lose a land at this point in the game. I don't think I'm going to blow up the Needle for one Construct, two Moxin in response. So if they have a second Needle and they want a Needle EE, -E, so be it. Because I need to have this Cathar Commando up. So if they have Needle for Cathar Commando, that's super bad. Sure, they didn't they didn't tap it for mana. Well, my opponent's deck can only win the game through Volt Key or Saga Tokens, and my deck will never let my opponent win the game through Volt Key and Saga Tokens. So it's like going to be long games. If, like I said, if we had hit a singleton land or moxin at any point in the first seven turns of this game, I think we would be running away with it. Uh, but because we didn't, the game is very close. Where we're slightly behind. They went mana vault. Okay, so now they're going to go for Luris vault key. Which means we're going to have to... It's going to be a nightmare. Uh, you're correct. I missed an attack because of the ring bearer. True. You are correct. I forgot. I don't know if the two points will end up mattering, but it definitely could, too. I also lose if my opponent draws their fourth PO, which would be rather unfortunate. I do think it's very likely this this round ends in my opponent timing out, to be completely honest. Opponent's deck does not do things fast, and my opponent is not playing at a very quick pace. I'm just going to take this six to the face. Um, I can't afford to tap out of mana, and the life shouldn't matter. So this is going to put Luris in their hand. They're going to play Luris, and then they're going to play Time Vault. And then they shouldn't activate it. R Wait, what? This means they have PO, right? This has to be PO then. That's incredible. They drew four POs and 21 cards. Wow. So am I deterministically dead if I activate engineered explosives? They draw... Three, they have white, I think they have enough, right? So they have four mana playing, they play this, they go up to six mana, they play this, they go down to five mana, and then they buy Luris to two mana, play, no, they don't have enough. All right, I will make my best play of EE, blow up their two Moxin and Construct and see what they do.
Oh, I also play Lavinia in my deck, which is incredible versus them as well. Yeah, I mean, we're going to make him play it all the way out, for sure. Did I miscount? Do they automatically have enough? Oh, they play Breach in this deck. I guess it's a different version. All right, well. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Like, my opponent had four POs in their top 21, and we had no mana, so. Like, normally, we we can't really die here because we have just so many things that interact with their game plan of enchantments and artifacts. But, no bueno. I like their main deck needle, though. Their deck should definitely be playing a main deck needle. It's very important. I don't believe Shere Khan's list played needles. Or maybe it did play needles, didn't play ways to beat needles. I don't remember. My opponent should probably cast another PO from their yard here. Cast lightning. Oh, they have lightning bolt. Okay, so can they breach combo? That'd be a quick way of winning. Mm, that's a that's a deep cut, Stu. Yeah, I seen your Twitter. We could put the rating higher. <laughs> they should just PO one more time, and then that hopefully gets them enough to play more bolts, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. P.O. back the uh, Breach so they can just go to the next turn and try again. <laughs> I like that. So what are we sideboarding? Let's figure that out. Soul Guide Lanterns are both coming in. Needle. Oh, nice Haywire, my. I like that card. Needle is coming in. Um, Dress Down is coming in. I mean, all of our cards are good versus them. Serenity might come in. Like, how are we going to fit all these cards? Like, it might be like Soul Guide, Soul Guide, Serenity, Serenity, Dress Down. And then we, all of our cards are already good in the main, too. So we're going to have some trouble getting rid of cards. But I think I actually like Serenity versus my opponent's deck. And I definitely like Soul Guide, and I definitely like Dress Down. And I like Needle some... I don't know if we actually need Needle. Because we have plenty of direct removal. I'm not sure Needle is required. All right, my opponent has found Brain Freeze Breach combo. Another thing that gets stopped by Cathar Commandos, Soul, Soul Guide Lanterns, etc. All right, they just need to cast some bolts. Snapcaster Mage. That's an interesting one. They're on a little bit of a... What is happening? They're on an interesting take on the deck.
I'm not really sure what their plan is here. Shouldn't they just Black Lotus Triple Bolt? Isn't that the fastest way? Making blue mana. Making blue mana again? I guess they're going to go for Brain Freeze Me. All right, I'm going to bring in Serenity, Dress Down, and Soul Guide Lanterns, and I'm going to take out... I really don't, don't believe in days here. Um, and I think I'm just going to leave one... I'm going to leave Caracas and March in for Luris. Um, and then I'm going to just take out... Man, how do I take cards out? Like, they they all just do exactly what we want, right? I don't even... Maybe we can't play Library on the play. Maybe we play... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess Snapcaster is not as good because I'm not playing, like, Swords and stuff, maybe. I don't know. Whatever. I'm over it. Submit. I really like the way these cards look against my opponent's deck, so. All right, I've got a cap. Let's see what you got for us here. EE -E Force All Lands Time Walk. Can't say that's a super strong hand, but doesn't feel like something I'm gonna pitch here. Even simply EE -E Luris loops is just incredible against my opponent's deck as well. Mm. Pearl, Odawara, Lavinia. Huh. Pearl, Blue Land, Lavinia. I'm just going to force this. Saga, though. They're playing fast now. Double Saga, though. Uh-oh. I better get that E back.
Guess I shouldn't have played a land because I could draw a uh, wasteland, huh? I was focused on beating Flusterstorm, which does seem silly now that I think about it. But I guess I simply can resolve a Luris and E on zero, so maybe it's fine. I guess they could theoretically like get a key and Volt key me as well. Uh, I mean, it wasn't like amazing to play a wasteland there, but like if my opponent is going all in on Saga tokens, we're beating that anyways, right? And if I had played a Wasteland, I wouldn't have been able to Luris EE. -E. So I'm not even sure that's good. Probably fine. Saga 3. Interesting. So now I have everything is still uncounterable. Um, hmm. So I just wasteland this saga, play my E on zero, and don't blow it up, take another hit. I guess I could theoretically play my... I could play it off of Pedal. It doesn't really do anything. I think I just don't want that searching for a needle. I mean, if they, if they have a... If they draw a needle... We do are we are in a bad spot like where we have to draw like dress down, right? Maybe that wasteland play will punish me. Watch them have like time walk here. No. All right. They don't have it, then they're pretty much just dead. <laughs> A little late on the Serenity. <laughs> oh, we're going to game three? I like their optimism. But yeah, Saga tokens are just not really a viable path to victory. Uh, I mean, this only, I mean, this beats Saga tokens and has force. It's probably just a keep. Hey, they only have a minute left anyways. Force on top. <laughs> Lavinia. Might as well just force it, right? <laughs> okay. 
I, for what it's worth, I feel like the very first game of that set was very high variance. Uh, yeah, it's true. I have Caracas. There's kind of no reason to force Lavinia. True, true, true. They baited my force. Oh, that was not my best play. It's okay. Anyways, I feel like that matchup is just probably extremely, extremely favored, and we're going to win most of the time anyways. Um... This deck works. You do have to try to stay awake while you play it, which I'm not doing a great job of at this point. Uh, but it, de it definitely wins. And I hope I, I hope I was able to really demonstrate tonight why I wanted to make a video with Sam Wise, the Stout Hearted. This card is sweet. We did what? We brought back Wasteland. We brought back Strip Mine. We brought back Library. We looped with Caracas. We brought back Bobbles and, and, and Cathar Commandos and Sealed Cleansings. So... It was kind of a banger stream, all things considered. Uh, we went 4-1. All we did was lose to um, Volt Key once, uh, where they just had like really, really powerful restricted card draws. I don't know. There's probably some ways to tune this deck. I don't know if 4 Sam is actually a good way to play this kind of thing, but I, all I really wanted to do was make sure that people understood and, and saw why I was excited about this card, and I think we did a good job of that. We did rebuy Lotus three times. That is true. We went, we did like Lotus, Luris, Lotus, Sam, Lotus, two cards. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We're going to um, probably stop making Lord of the Rings centered videos now. Um, and I'm going to start working on uh, real life deck lists. I need to create a deck to play in paper events coming up. We have, you know, uh, in September, there's the BCD and there's a local New York City one. And then there's Four Seasons and hopefully Eternal Weekend. Uh, and with Esper Pio being no longer very playable, uh, I'm starting to learn Doomsday. Um, so we're probably going to stream a Doomsday challenge on Saturday. Uh, and it will be a bit of a different uh, take on Doomsday than than normal people. So that'll be fun. More vintage content Monday, Wednesday, Friday on this YouTube channel. I will see you then.